So today's walk is called Lord Arthur's Hill. It's 518 meters high and normally it's an out and back walk just to this hill. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a circuit which extends the walk considerably. It's at the, the starting point is at the end of a country road. Uh, you leave your car here at the beginning of a farm bridge on a grass verge. In the context of where it is, um, Huntley is to the north, Afford is to the south, uh, we've got Inch to the north east here and Inverurie is all the way out here. So it's deep in the countryside just north of the River Don. So we're going to head out to the track and we're going to see what conditions are like. Okay, so we are going to be climbing a uh, hilltop called Lord Arthur's Hill. And uh, it's a decent track. Um, the, uh, it's a Land Rover track all the way up to the top. And then it's uh, more of a rough quad track uh, uh, beyond. So this is um, a hill circuit. So we um, head up, off, up this track to this uh, farm today. Then we uh, head into the forest. Right. So I'm uh, now on the forest track, which is uh, beyond the farm. And uh, it's quite a different proposition today. It's uh, uh, been used by heavy forest machinery. And uh, it's, um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, uh, harvest operations going on right now. And I've walked this, uh, this uh, route for, for many years now. And uh, this is, uh, ooh, this is slidey. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen it in such a condition. So uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, this is normally the easy bit of the, uh, of the entire walk. So let's see what goes on now. We're just about out of the forest. Uh, we're still on the same track. And uh, that track was quite a nightmare. It was uh, compressed ice in the middle and uh, it was a deep muddy quagmire where the uh, tracks were going, uh, where the uh, vehicle wheels were going. So now it's uh, getting a bit easier underfoot. Forest is giving way to open moorland. There's gonna be gale force winds on the top they're forecasting uh, 41 mile an hour gusts at my house today. So we're going to be getting a perfectly normal uh, winter's day coming up. Okay, so we're coming up to um, a stream crossing here. And this has got uh, a little bridge going across. A bit windy today. Let's, uh, the wind's uh, accelerating now. Here we are. Just this. Let's, uh, let's just get, get across this. It's quite normally quite slippery. Okay, so that was fine. That was no problem at all. Okay, so we've got this uh, track going up. It's a bit icy. We'll uh, make our way up there. So a bit higher up, uh, less snow on the, uh, on the track. Okay, so uh, this is Benahi and uh, looking around. We're a bit higher up. I've uh, managed to hide myself behind a tree to get rid of the worst of the wind. So behind this tree here, we have Lord Arthur's Hill. So we're not too far away from the top now. And hopefully this track will uh, be out of the uh, snow for as much as possible. Although I reckon I'm saying that a bit too soon. Okay, not too much further along. Uh, this is uh, quite, quite deep snow. I was wondering whether to bring my snowshoes along. And uh, it was this kind of stuff, but it's very patchy stuff. So I put away my wireless mic. Um, the strength of the winds, there's just every fear that the muffler will just blow away in it. So uh, 
I have to use an unshielded microphone. Ah! Right, this is deep. Ah! Goofy. Okay. So for the time being, we've still got this track going up to uh, Lord Arthur's Hill. So we'll just keep on going on up here. Okay, so we're right here, um, not far away from the uh, from the uh, trip point now. It's just a short uh, diversion off the uh, the main track. Here we are. All right, we've got a nice uh, backdrop uh, to it. Well, found the uh, footpath going to it, which is good. Uh, and here we are. Let's uh, do a zoom in and do a panorama. So we've got Benahi over here. We've got Hill of Tilly Morgan over here. And we've got uh, Foundland Hill over there. So here's the ridge we're going to be walking along. There's Tappan Off. And then back to Benrinus. So it's um it's a windy day up here it's about gale force winds um, so not particularly good I've got my uh, my microphone tucked in down here underneath my Gore-Tex so hopefully uh, hopefully it's reasonably well protected and hopefully the pickups pretty good um, so uh, yeah um, this is a, a typically it's about three to four hours to do this walk and uh, what we'll do now is get back to the track and we'll uh, head off that way. It looks like there are some patches which are a bit uh, snowy, but most of the, uh, the ridge looks like it's uh, clear. So uh, looking forward to doing that. So this is uh, one of my favorite uh, parts of the, uh, the walk. It's uh, a, a reasonable descent and you just got this uh, fantastic uh, backdrop. Uh, looking into the Don Valley and the River Don itself is it's very swift right now there's a uh, flooding going on uh, further downstream so uh, there's still plenty more snow left to melt off these uh, hills so we take uh, we take the right hand fork here and then eventually the uh, the, the track swings around to the right uh, towards uh, Rhiney so uh, we'll just carry on this way. Okay, so I'm off uh, Lord Arthur's Hill now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty exhausting work um, with this, uh, with this uh, snow down here. But uh, it's not going to last all that long. And uh, my way ahead is to keep going forwards before turning right. So we're on the brow of the ridge. Uh, we've got um, the view of the valley opening up uh, from uh, Lumsden to the left uh, up to Rhiney to the right. Um, over here we've got, uh, there we go, there's Tappan Off. And uh, here is the track which uh, now heads northwards. So the track that uh, has been down uh, from uh, from Lord Arthur's Hill. Uh, that was uh, a very, uh, uh, it was banked out with a lot of snow in places, so it was quite exhausting. I'm hoping this track will be uh, uh, a lot less snowy. Um, it's certainly very puddly. Um, that's often the case. It is uh, peat hags and it has recently been under snow, a lot of snow. Let's uh, carry on up this footpath. Continuing along the uh, the northbound leg of the uh, the ridge. Um, let's have a look uh, around to the right And you can see we've got Lord Arthur's Hill here 
quite a quite a wet track, and uh, it's often uh, it's often quite wet. But uh, so far, I'm probably about halfway along this leg now, and uh, there is uh, no substantial snow banks at all. My anticipation of the weather is uh, coming up short today, which is uh, thankful, really. Um, I don't like battling and getting buffeted too much, um, especially if I'm up in the uh, high up for prolonged periods of time. But it's definitely not an exhausting wind. Um, the only thing that's uh, a bit uh, challenging is uh, the amount of water everywhere. Where that fence is, uh, just to the right of it, you can see the track coming up. And uh, we don't go all the way up to the brow of that hill, um, but uh, there is a track which uh, turns off to the right, and uh, we'll be following that tri uh, track down. All right, so this is the northern portion of the uh, track. So this is the bit where I, I head down into this valley. So it's... Uh, This is uh, Lord Arthur's Hill right here and uh, scrolling round. We've got hints of the, uh, the mountains, Ben Rinnis over here. So we'll uh, continue down this uh, track. So I've been walking on this uh, return leg of the uh, walk. Uh, now for uh, about 20 minutes and uh, it's uh, nature's not making uh, life easy here so the uh, the actual track as you can see is uh, submerged under a lot of snow which basically means I either have to uh, walk on the snow which is extremely exhausting and is making my feet wet or I have to jump into the heather, which is also exhausting. And uh, in this situation, it's, uh, it's uh, a choice between two bad options. So, so I reckon this will carry on for some time. Um, I've still got a fair bit of distance to go until I drop down to the valley as well. So it looks like I'm uh, past the worst of the snow drifts on the track, although I'm saying that too soon now. Um, no, it's just a little bit. Yeah, so um, it was uh, pretty exhausting and uh, now we're dropping down into the valley. So I get down to the valley, um, then I've got a stream to cross and I expect it will be uh, quite, uh, quite, quite swift. So. We'll see how that goes. I am nearly at the bottom of the valley. So no more, uh, no more uh, snowy tracks um, on this side of the river. But uh, my feet are uh, definitely wet. I'll be looking forward to getting back home and putting some dry socks back on. So here I am at the river. Let's go take a look at this. Yep. That's definitely uh, deep. I don't think I want to be holding my camera at this stage, so I'm going to say goodbye to you until we get to the other side. Greetings from the other side. Right, I made it, but it was not without cost. Let me just have a look. Yes, I got up to my knees and that. It was uh, pretty uh, deep, so I was glad I put my camera away. But, oh, uh, yuck. I've got some real sloshy buckets underneath my feet. Ugh. Yuck. Yeah, that was the deepest I've ever had it. Okay, not surprised. But at least I did that at the end of the walk and not the beginning. Well, here we have the stream as seen from the main track. And yeah, I thought to myself, oh, it doesn't sound too noisy. I'll, I'll just go for it. So I'm back on the track. 
yeah normally this is a, a bit of a motorway and I can just stomp along it but when there's too much ice about or you just got the middle heather crop of uh, the uh, central section to walk on as I do now it does slow me down quite a lot so hopefully 20 minutes to the car and then then I'm good okay so I'm at the end of the forest track uh, but it's not the conventional end um, it continues going forwards uh, here however at the moment there's forest operations so uh, we have to take this uh, alternative footpath um, because I don't want people going near the uh, timber stacks so right now I'm about uh, five minutes from the car uh, this footpath here it's um, not the nicest end but at the same time it's not at all it's nowhere near as bad as anything uh, in terms of underfoot conditions to what I've already uh, suffered so far on this walk today all right next stop the car finally back onto a dry piece of road I wasn't expecting it to be uh, quite such a challenge so how long did that take me there's a good question so it's 208 so I started about 10 o'clock so it was about four hours so okay not the uh, not the shortest journey time but uh, nonetheless um, not too bad right time for some lunch <laughs> 